Day 4 is in the books in the 2014 PokerStars Caribbean Adventure main event. Only 20 players now remain from the 1031 that entered. Your chip leader is 27 year old Estonian poker pro Mattis Muir. Other notables near the top of the chip counts include Isaac Barron, Max Silver, Pascal Lefrancois, Antoine Saou, and Mike Timex McDonald, who ended the day second in chips. Car Player TV caught up with Timex after play ended to hear more about his day. Yeah, the day started out, I was uh, a little below average, about median with 350,000. Um, the first couple levels, I didn't really have any big pots, but I won, you know, seven out of eight, you know, small to medium, or like medium-ish sized pots during that time, and went from like 350k up to 1.1 million or so. Um, and then I played, a, like with, I got down to about a million and then played like a 2.3 million chip pot where I got aces against ace king against queens. Uh, yeah, I got, just the way it played out, it, the pot got absolutely massive despite three people being in it. And I won, I don't know, a 200 big mind pot or something like that. Um, and then that put me up as being one of the chip leaders. And then I won two flips against short stacks. I won a couple other pots like that didn't get shown down. Um, and it's just been going really well. I hit a high point of close to 4 million. Now I've got about 3.5 million. McDonald won the EPT Dortmund main event in 2008 and is drawing live at becoming the first ever player to win two EPT main events. We asked him for his thoughts on that possibility. Yeah, I mean, I, since I've been playing, since I you know, won my EPT at 18, I've always thought you know, it would be cool to be the first double champion. And at first it didn't seem like a big thing to me, like when I made my second final table, because I hadn't really been around EPTs, I wasn't aware that it was like a big deal to win two of them. I thought it was, you know, cool back in the day when I final tabled the same one twice. I thought that winning the same one back to back would be cool, but I didn't realize no one had ever won two EPTs. Now over the last couple of years, the fact that it's been, you know, 90 events and no one's won two, as opposed to something like the World Series where people have won like 13 or 14 or something, uh, it's kind. Of, it's kind of cool that it's become. It seems so like elusive. Right now, you know, I'd, I'd guess, you know, I'm probably 15% to win this tournament, uh, which is a legitimate chance. Like when I go into this, my chance of, you know, my chance of winning an EPT again in my life, are probably if I don't win this one, are probably less than 15%. So you know, this is, you know, pretty absurd. Make sure to stay tuned to Card Player TV for more coverage of the 2014 PokerStars Caribbean Adventure main event.